Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do another guide on DLSS Swapper. Uh, they did an update with the new version. I think it's the 1.1.5 and they push a lot of uh, uh, feature on a seat. That's pretty cool. Uh, I did a guide, I think uh, a week ago or two weeks ago about NVIDIA app that uh, you can force DLSS 4 in some game. It's not all the game that are compatible. So for example, if we look at Path of Exile, uh, two, when you click on it and you ask for the latest super resolution, you're going to use DLSS 4 in this game. But with DLSS Swapper, you can use it in any game that you want. Uh, so that's a really cool feature. And also now with the new update, when you click on the library, you're not just getting DLSS, you're getting the frame gen, the rear reconstruction, FSR, uh, even XESS from Intel. So that's pretty cool. So for an example, if we're looking at DLSS, you have pretty much all the version over there. The, la uh, the latest version of uh, DLSS 3, this is the 3.8.10. And when you see 310, this is the DLSS 4. So this is the first version and now this is the second version, so the latest one. You just press on this arrow and you will download it and it will be on your software. I'm going to show you a little bit later how to apply it. Pretty much the same thing with frame gen. So download the latest one, download the latest DLSS reconstruction. Also, you can download FSR 3.1 for DirectX 12 and for Vulkan, depending on the game and the API that they're going to use. So that's pretty cool. Can be uh, useful for people who, uh, with a Radeon car or an RTX card 2000, 3000 series. Sometimes it's just better to use the frame gen from FSR 3 when you have those cards. And after that, you have the XESS from Intel, so you can download your stuff over there. So now, as you can see, you're seeing my game. So for an example, let's take Final Fantasy right now. I love to play this game, Rebirth. When you go on the NVIDIA app, you don't have anything over there. It's currently not um, available. It's, uh, they don't support it. But in the LSS Swapper, you click on it. So right now, it's using the DLSS 3.7.10. You ask for the latest version over there. You press swap and now you're going to use the LSS4 for Final Fantasy. You don't have any frame generation because it's not compatible in the game. If you have any issue, uh, it mess up your game or whatever, just press reset, swap again, and you're going to go back to the uh, default file from your game. So in my case, I'm going to go back with the latest one. So pretty cool over there. I'm going to give you another example, Cyberpunk. You can change your DLSS, so I already did it, as you can see. So you can change your DLSS over there. You can select the latest frame generation and the latest reconstruction. You press swap. Pretty much the same thing with XCSS. So if you want to download the latest one, you just apply it and you swap it out. As you can see, it's going to download it. And you swap it out like this. So very cool feature. And you can do pretty much the same thing with FSR 3.1. One thing that I want to mention, you can't right now uh, select the preset uh, for your DLSS. What, what is the preset? So I'm going to give you an example on Path of Exile. Go to DLSS. When you're using the latest one, you're going to use the preset K. This is the latest model from uh, NVIDIA. And probably the best, in some case, preset G can be better, but it really depends on the game. And you all have all those different presets. So in the NVIDIA app, that's pretty cool. You just select the latest. You're going to make sure that you will always apply preset K. But with the LSS Swapper, it can be an issue. For an example, for Final Fantasy, that's not an issue. You're running uh, preset K. But for a game like Forza Horizon 5, I don't know why, even when you swap for the latest DLSS, it's going to use the preset C. So that's a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, you can use other guide. Uh, you can Google it if you want. Um, NVIDIA uh, Inspector or uh, a DLSS tweak. And you can force a preset with a global override. But I'm not a fan of it because you can't really do it by game. You need to... Uh, do it globally, so it really depends on what you're playing. Sometimes you want maybe to use G over K, and uh, if you want to do it independently, you need to create all those different profiles. And honestly, I feel like NVIDIA will probably be uh, compatible with a lot more game in the coming like future with new patches, and I'm pretty sure the LSS Swapper is going to work for on something to uh, maybe select it like this, just have a drop down and select your preset. Because right now, honestly, <laughs> it's kind of a, a rabbit hole when you start to looking at this. So my recommendation is just make sure that you update your DLSS with the latest version, play it, 
and uh, for like 90% of the time, you will be fine in any game. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my DLSS Swapper update. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.